Hello YouTube, Turbo Do five 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 here, and a quick tip for uh, when you purchase your water cooling equipment. Uh, one of the first things you should do is flush everything out because, like during the manufacture process, you know, you delivery and stuff like that, you get bits, particles, dust, bits of plastic shavings, anything like that. You want to try and flush out. Um, my uh, quad R four eighty has already been. Uh, flushed a few times but uh, I want to flush the graphics card cooler which I've got here the uh, XSPC dual drive bay reservoir and pump which is what's going to be cooling my uh, Crossfire graphics cards two Radeon HD 6970s when I get those so a dedicated single loop for them uh, not with that radiator as it happens, so if you're using a smaller one, that'll be for the CPU, that one. But uh, I want to clean these both out in advance. So, yep, yeah, as usual, jump started uh, PSU. That useful little trick I showed in a different video. And uh, we'll uh, give these boys a clean. Yeah, during this flush, I'll be using the clean and fresh deionized water. So we get no uh, nasty reactions in there for cleaning. Uh, you can also use distilled water or just ordinary tap water for your first clean. And then obviously you want to use the deionized and or distilled water after that to make sure your components last as long as possible and that all traces of any other foreign things have gone. Because you don't want anything degrading in there or causing any algae to grow or anything. Um, that's why I prefer to use coolant rather than water by itself because it's already uh, pre-treated so that you won't get any uh, green things growing in your tubes or damaging any of your components. Just another quick thing that I thought I would add. While this has just been sitting here while I uh, collect my distilled water, I noticed these uh, compression fittings are already starting to lose grip of the pipes. So I don't recommend using these at all from the experience I'm having so far. You might as well just get the normal length barbs, the G quarter, G quarter fittings, and then just clamp them, clamp them down, because I, I wouldn't trust this inside a case at all if they can just come loose before there's even any uh, pressure going through them. You know, the last thing you want is a leak. You see, that one's managed to stay on all right. Oh, has it? No, that was just badly cut, bloody thing. But uh, all these ones are flush cuts, but uh, still managed to come off, so yeah, I, I don't recommend them at all. I don't even know why they bother selling them. It's not reliable. Right, so here we go then. Um, I don't think the leak test aspect of this uh, video will be important anymore. Seems like we can see that uh, some of these compression fittings are uncompressing themselves. Um, I guess you could get a smaller tube and then try and stretch it round a different size barb to get a better effect, but um, that's up to you personally. I wouldn't bother. I'd just clip them. So here we go. First thing you do is uh, pour some of this water in. Deionized water. Uh, using a funnel is optional. Using the funnel, so there's definitely no splash, so uh, see leaks quicker. You see, when you're filling your system for the first time, this is usually what you would do because you can't let a pump run dry because it's not supposed to be pumping air, it's supposed to be pumping liquid. That's one bottled up. the top. Just a little bit more in there. Just 
until the top's covered. Oh, a little bit too much. Let's clean that up. All right. So as I was saying, uh, another note to self and to other people: don't overfill. Uh, when you're filling a system for the first time, you generally fill by either a, a T section if you're doing it that way, which would be using uh, one of these little men to uh, fill the line in from any point in the system. But generally, it seems how you're going reservoir pump to radiator to cool, then to your CPU or whatever you're using. You would always fill the reservoir first so that it spills down into the pump so the pump's never running dry. And then as it goes around the system, you just gradually top it up. You keep switching on, switching off, and then topping it up as you go. A little bit like this. When I switch it on, when I find the switch. It's always confusing when you've got it upside down. So there I go, whoop. Switch off, and then fill back up. So I'll do that and then start again. And then once again, so switch on. Switch off. Let it go into the reservoir. Into the uh, radiator, sorry. Fill it back up to the top. Don't splash it out. So eventually you should have something that looks like that. My pipes are vibrating, that's weird. But as you can hear, or rather not hear, this pump is very, very quiet. Oh, and it stands at this power, it's very, very quiet at least. But yeah, I'll fill it right up to the top and then uh, close the system. Well, so far so good. Pump's very quiet. Pumping away there. Yeah, close look on the inside. As it's very quiet, just a slight dripping sound of the water running around the uh, reservoir, but, uh, around the um, radiator. I keep wanting to call it a reservoir for some strange reason. Uh, so far, no leaks, even though those uh, are coming off the barbs ever so slightly again. Stupid things. I still don't recommend them, but they do appear to be working reasonably well. And I wouldn't like to put that in a system and then it all come apart, so I will get standard barbs for that. I see that pump is really, really quiet. I was expecting a little bit of sound. I do have it on the uh, anti vibration uh, bit of foam there, though. But uh, in the system, it'll be fastened in, obviously, with the rest of the components, so there shouldn't be any vibrational noise whatsoever. I just like to fill it up a little bit more so it goes all the way over the uh, top of there. But I think that's as high as it'll go. So yeah, cleaning out our system and testing new components. Just thought I'd add the clip in with the uh, blue LED put in to light up the water. So from the front it'll look uh, something like that. It's quite bright. I'm showing straight through it. Can I have a go? Uh, there or one at the other side, I don't know why you'd want to light up the other side unless you had it outside of your system because you won't really see it. I wouldn't have thought anyway.
Right, let's just move it there and have a look. Ugh, can't see where the hole is. There we go. Yeah, you wouldn't see anything, so no real point to that. Unless you've got like a, a see-through case, so you'd come around this side and you'd see it. But yeah, that's quite uh, that's quite good. It's good that they throw that in. Imagine I'll probably be using a UV one to light up the water blue completely. But that gives you an idea of what to expect. Very nice. 